You have identification on it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're just on our way to work. NASA, sir. That's some. I had no idea they hired. There are quite a few women working in the space program. When they told me about the story at the very beginning, it's a story that is true. I just thought, I have to be a part of this. How the hell did we find ourselves in second place in a two-man race? I refuse to believe that the Russians are smarter than us. Find the genius among those geniuses. My dad is actually a NASA Langley retired research scientist, which is how I got to know about this story. They've never had a colored in here before, Catherine. Don't embarrass me. I knew Catherine Johnson and many of the other women that I'm writing about because they worked here with my dad. I took great pride in the work that that was given to me. Colonel Glenn's launch coordinates. I have told you this. Computers don't author reports. Fix it. Those are my calculations. My name should be on it. That is not the way this works. What they did had a lot to do with where we are in space and science today. Whose work is that? Catherine Goebel, sir. You did the math. I looked beyond. They've been buried in history, pages of history that hadn't been uncovered. How come I've never heard this story about these women who calculated launch windows for the astronauts? We're orbiting the Earth at what speed now? 17,544 miles per hour. NASA offered them an opportunity. They wanted to be treated equally. She is a woman. There is no protocol for a woman. Okay, I get meetings. that part, Paul. Catherine. She said she wanted this story told. I knew how important it was. It's a story of three women whose God-given abilities were allowed to flourish and make a difference. That's it. These women were the heroes behind the scenes. We all get there together, we don't get there at all. That's empowerment. In the fight of our lives, people. Five, four, 